Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 for a little Beer 30 announcement. What is your announcement, Rusty? Well, I'll tell you what it is right now. Cut to the chase. I have found a builder to build me a small 392 square foot home on the lots I own in Lano, Texas. So we have launched the ship. Hopefully, it will all work out. Haven't got a quote yet. Probably be several days or a few days before I get a quote because he has to send it out to the subs and all the stuff. And uh, yeah, but I had a full set of plans. As you know, I had them drawn up some time ago, several months ago, actually. And so we're moving forward. Yeah, he's, uh, he's said he would be glad to. He's got some other projects going, but yeah, looks good. So yeah, I'm uh, kind of semi-excited. I mean, I don't want to get too excited because he may come back with a an estimate on building the home that is just way beyond what I'm willing to do because what I hope to do is be able to cash flow uh, the home and not have any quote loan because I you know whenever you if you have a loan on a home then you have to have homeowners insurance well homeowners insurance uh, even the minimum lowest policy you can find uh, is going to be around a thousand dollars a year and uh, I just don't want to fool with that. I'm, I may come up with, you know, they do have like actual cash value uh, insurance policies. I may do something like that. I'm not sure. But I think I'll just self-insure. If it gets bunk, burned down, I'll just sit there on the foundation and uh, watch the world go by. <laughs> I mean, but it, the way we're building this thing, it should be uh, pretty much <clears throat> fire resistant in a lot of ways. So, yeah, we, uh, we talked about it at length. Uh, I was at the lots with the builder for probably a little over an hour or more. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, we understand each other. And, uh, you, know, I, you know, what I was afraid of is that, you know, some builders, you know, they you know, they build pretty nice homes. You know, they got cabinets and big closets and nice, fancy restrooms and stuff. And I, I don't want any of that. You know, I'm going to, it's going to be pretty basic. I'll use a, for the air conditioner, I'll probably use a mini split. Uh, as for our, our window units, probably a mini split would be better. They're more efficient and, they're, and they don't cost that much more to cool the 400 square foot home. And uh, as far as uh, heating and cool, or excuse me, heating, uh, they do have natural gas available at that site. And uh, so I've caught, put in a call to Atmos Energy to find out how that will go down because I understand, I was told by the builder that they have a monthly minimum and uh, we'll have to see how that works out. Otherwise, I'll go all electric, uh, which is certainly no problem. And uh, as far as like the hot water heater, I'm not going to get, you know, that instant uh, hot water stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, I've heard good and bad about that. So I'll go with the hot water heater electric. I think I'm going to go with a 30 gallon. That's about the smallest one I can find. Uh, at a reasonable price, even though I've gotten along for 25 years with a six gallon uh, hot water heater. So it'd just be five times overkill, but I'm going to have an on off switch on the hot water heater. So whenever like I get ready to take a shower, I can turn it on about 30 minutes before. And then after I take a shower, turn it off for the day and just run it once a day because the item that uses the most electricity in most homes is the uh, hot water heater. So we're, we have, uh, yeah, it's going to be kind of uh, like the cabin that I showed you several months ago. And as we make progress uh, step by step by step, assuming we get started, you know, step one is to get the quote back. And then step two is to start the process. And uh, so, you know, I've had, you know, the reason I'm doing this at this time is, uh, well, there's a lot of general reasons, but mainly... Um, I'm not going to be traveling much anymore, if at all. And, and there's just so many things going on that are, uh, in my, for me, not good for traveling. I mean, you know, they're getting more crowded and stuff. But, but that's not a big deal. There's plenty of room out there on the Bureau of Land Management land for sure. But, you know, also, you know, it's, I, I use this thing called Calculatus Eliminatus. It comes from an old Dr. Seuss thing. And, uh, you know, if you want to find out where something is, first got to find out where it ain't. 
Uh, well, I did. I, I checked. Uh, you know, I've got, I've tried, uh, I had travel trailers and I tried a motorhome. Motorhome's fine. I like the motorhome. It's great. You know, I may end up keeping it if I can cash flow the home without selling it. I may keep the motorhome. How about that? That would be a, certainly a good option if I can pull it off, but I'm not sure I can. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but uh, I looked at travel trailers, man. I thought about, well, I just put a travel trailer here on this lot at the RV park near in Lano or near Lano. And, uh, but you know, I, I, I'm not going to order one and wait uh, six months or so to get something I may not want. And you can't go see uh, the units that I'm interested in. They don't have any of them on the lots within driving distance of me. And, you know, somebody will want you fly somewhere. Well, I don't want to fly anywhere. And I don't want to drive over four or five hours. You know, so with those limitations, uh, that's where I've got, come to is uh, the travel trailer as a permanent or reasonably permanent home here on this RV uh, site is out. And uh, uh, what else? Uh, that's, that's pretty much it. As far as, you know, renting a place, you know, like an apartment or whatever, that's T.O., T.O., totally out. You know, none of that. And, uh, yeah, since I already own the lots, and boy, I have to tell you this, if you've been looking at the price of property in Texas around some of these cities, particularly like Fredericksburg, Texas, I just found out today that the price of uh, uh, homes in a 12-month period had increased approximately 39%, okay? And in the Austin area, it's just like this. And here in the hill country of Texas, the prices of property is just going through the ceiling. And building costs, uh, you know, they follow supply and demand. So I'm hoping I may uh, be getting in early enough. And I told the builder, we talked about it at length, you know, there are some building products the prices have really gone up on, and then there's some building pr products that have stayed uh, fairly level or whatever. And uh, so he said, as we go through this process, uh, we will look, examine each uh, phase and look at our options and move forward. And that's what I like. I, I didn't want to be, you know, fixed with any uh, materials you know we, we can change of course i'm going to put it on a slab i'm not going to put it on pier and beam and i'll also have a slab uh, under the quote carport that'll be right next to the house and i'll have me a driveway a little circular driveway made out of uh, a road base probably and of course they do they do it's a turnkey deal i mean that's what i really like about this builder turnkey he's he's a local guy been here for years grew up in burnet i mean excuse me lano texas sorry and uh so he knows all the people at the uh, city offices, you know, how to get things done. He's been doing building for years. And so, yeah, I think it'll, it's, a, he, I've got a good builder. He's got good subs. He's had some of the, they, he told me he'd had some of the subs for 20 years, you know. So, you know, you, you get subcontractors that have been with a, a, a builder for that length of time. They owe that individual some loyalty and there may be loyalty both ways. So I'm sure there is. But, uh, yeah, so I feel pretty good about the builder. Actually, I feel very good about the builder. And as uh, far as, uh, you know, getting started and how long it's going to take, uh, I, I doubt that we'll be breaking ground. Uh, if we broke ground by the middle of May, I would be surprised. But we could. And as how long is it going to take? Well, you know, it depends on how busy, like the builder said, it depends on how busy the subcontractors are. You know, if... Uh, you know, and they they are busy up here in the hill country of Texas. They're they're busy, and so as uh, you know, we, we can get get them over there to do things like the you know the slab, the framing, you know the roofing and all the stuff, and the electrical plumbing. Then you got to get all the quote taps hooked up. You got water sewer and electric taps that have to be done, and uh, fortunately he's got all those people, uh, not quote not on his payroll, but he knows who to call and and get them lined up. So uh, we're, we're moving forward, guys, and I think the timing is good. Uh, with any luck, uh, we may, uh, or I may, we may, uh, be living in a, a, quote, sort of a sticks and bricks, I guess you'd say, by the end of the summer. Uh, that's about how long it's going to take, even though it's a very simple uh, home and the, the floor plan is very simple. I'll show you. Hang on. Let me take a swallow a beer. Mm. Yeah, I got a full set of plans here with all the, quote, elevations. You know, elevations are like, you know, the front view and all that stuff. You can't really tell much on this first page, but I'll show it to you. It's a real, it, if, uh, if you remember that, uh, 
little cabin. I mean, see that little deal there in the center? That's the home layout with the carport uh, there and the front porch and then the house with the stuff. I'll get it up closer. Maybe you can see it. And uh, so that's kind of, that's what I'm looking at. That's 392 square feet. And I told him that if we needed to, you know, increase, you know, uh, make it a little smaller by a foot or two to utilize materials better, uh, that we would do so. And he said, well, it, it, that's, it, that wouldn't be a problem. That, you know, it's defined the way it is. And that's one, quote, elevation, I guess you'd call it. I'll show you another one here, give you a little better picture of it. Okay, this shows uh, the floor plan, the roof plan, and stuff. And uh, let's see if I can get this up there where you can see it. This I had it all rolled up, so it's kind of awkward to fool it. Well, this is going to be a real trick, isn't it? Let's do this. Let's go this way. Yeah, maybe I can get it here. Okay, let me show you. All right, if you can see that, that, that's the house. It shows the bed, the front door. There's the porch in the front. That's a covered front porch, and it goes the full length of the house. Uh, in, in RV jargon, we would call that an awning. <laughs> anyway, there it is right there, and you can see the measurements and so forth. And then uh, this is the, uh, that's showing the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, oh, I can't remember. But anyway, that, that's the uh, whole layout. That even shows the bed, and it's just a, in a big open room. And then the, the uh, kitchen area, you see those shelves there. You, you, they're just open shelving with no cabinet doors. Uh, bathroom, there's not even a door going into the bathroom. I'll just put a curtain there or something. And as far as the closet and stuff, I'll I'll rig up a curtain rod or something to hold my hanging clothes. And it's going to be really simple, okay? And then this is the, the electrical diagram showing the outlets and so forth on this page. Uh, you can see it. I'm not sure if have to stand up here where you can see it. But yeah, that's the electrical diagram showing two ceiling fans, and that's the bathroom there. In the bathroom area, there's going to be a stacking washer and dryer, and uh, and then a, you know a full bath shower and stuff, and uh, and then of course wall outlets all the way around. And then those little on the walls, those little dark spots with the double lines, those are windows, and uh, so that that's in this plan too. And then let's see if I've got anything else I can show you. Yeah, but that, that'll give you, a, you know, you know, why do I want to do this at this time? Oh, man, I'm 75 years old. Here we go. This will show you some more. Okay, th th these are called elevations, too. I'll show you this. This will give you a good look at the house. Uh, if I never get this paper, <laughs> it's all, I rolled it up. I really screwed it up, I guess. But see, you can see there's the, what they call the front elevation. If you were looking at the front of the house from the street, and then you've got a, uh, that's a rear elevation there, I think. And then we go up here, there's a side elevation. It says, uh, yeah. And then over there, there's another one. If I can get up here and see it. Let me get up here. Yeah, there's a, another one here. What does that say? Yeah, you got right and left elevation. So you can see the side. It's just a plane. It's a cabin like the one that we looked at before. And, uh, yeah, it's a. It's going to work out fine. That's uh, pl that's the back. Got a couple of windows there, and then the front got a big window there, and uh, so yeah, we're, we got plenty of ventilation, and uh, it faces the house faces north and uh, south. So uh, as far as the summer sun and all that, we're good. Be able to sit on the porch and watch sunset, and uh, so yeah, it's, uh, I'm I'm kind of semi excited. The only reason I'm semi excited instead of just sitting here doing handstands is because I'm kind of in shock <laughs> that I, I did this uh, first. And number two, uh, I'm still concerned about what we're going to get for a, a, a price. You know, I mean, you, you know, your guess is as good as mine. I got a, I've got an idea in mind because I know what the builder from Fredericksburg was going to build the cabin on the lot for and I you know actually went over and took these plans and showed him some changes we needed to make which actually reduced the price so I know what his reduced price was built on those lots uh, with pier and beam but it didn't include any uh, clearing of the property a road a carport uh, any of the sewer water electric taps and all that stuff so there's there's a lot of things that were left out of that uh, 
be it or quote from the gentleman in uh, Fredericksburg on the cabin. And uh, they will be in this one. And that's kind of, I'm waiting for the, mm, are you kidding me? You know, and, and maybe it won't be. You know, maybe I'll go, yeah, we can do that. And away we go. But we'll see. But anyway, I just wanted to give you a kind of heads up. And I was sitting here drinking a beer and I thought, well, you know, I could postpone this, but nothing's going to change for a week or so until I get the fi or get a bid, the final bid, I guess. Mm. But I went over this afternoon and spent a couple, probably three hours. You know, I walked around the neighborhood. You know, of course, there's nothing in front of my uh, my lots or where the home will be. You know, it's just a blank property across the street. And so I walked around. There's a whole city block there with nothing on it. And uh, so I, I walked around there for the lecture. I had no dogs, no nothing. So no, no issues with that. I didn't hear any dogs barking at all. And uh, so, yeah, knock on wood, uh, it'll be okay. And as far as the monthly expenses, I can tell you kind of what that's going to be. Uh, here, I've got it right here. Uh, the, uh, uh, well, of course, you got all your utility deposits. I've already made those. And then you got the, the monthly bill on the water is probably going to be somewhere around 50 bucks a month. Uh, for one person, me, and then sewer trash, probably 25, 30 bucks, including the trash pickup. Uh, the electric, uh, that this is just an estimate. I'm going to say 60 bucks, if, even if I go all electric, which, you know, that's kind of what uh, I think it should be. I mean, it should be in that. And if I go with uh, Atmos Energy on the natural gas, uh, then that, there may be a change there. It depends on what their minimum is. And then, uh, as far as taxes, $25 a month, maybe, because uh, I get a discount for being old as dirt, and uh, and then I can freeze the taxes so they don't go up. And with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, uh, <laughs> and away we go. <laughs> Again, huh? Yeah, this is going to be fun. You know, you're going to get to see the whole building process just like right now. That you know, This is like step one. If you're going to be, ever build your home, uh, and you're going to work with a builder. This is how it works. You know, you get you a set of plans, and then you chat with the builder, and he sends the, he makes, uh, what, he, what he'll do, he'll contact the uh, fellow over in Kingsland that drew these plans up, and uh, that, uh, he'll, that uh, person will email him, copy, uh, email him the plans, uh, the, whole th the whole set, and then he will in turn send out what is needed to the subcontractors, and once they get it, then they'll bid it, uh, and he'll get those numbers and add them all up and add a little profit in there. And, uh, yeah, that's how it all works. And then uh, once they get started, uh, he oversees the whole thing. I just drive by and check, and if I have any input, I give it, and away we go. He's a pretty nice guy, really laid back, you know, kind of, you know from Lano, Texas. I mean, just like country like me, you know what I mean? And uh, so, yeah, it should, I hope in the process, it should go pretty good. Should go pretty smoothly, but we'll see. But as soon as I get a number, I'll let you know. But that may be a few days. No hurry on that. I told him, I didn't, shouldn't have said it, but I told him there's no real big hurry. And he said, well, don't tell me that. And I said, well, okay, I'm not telling you that. <laughs> I'm not telling you that. So, you know, but uh, yeah, he said it'd probably be about four months from the time they start till the time I move in. So we'll see in that range. Maybe more, maybe less, depending on how these subs uh, do. But having said that, ladies and gentlemen, from... Lano, Texas, in the ungated community for now. This is Rusty78609 saying thumbs up. Prost. Mm. Muy bueno, man. Got a lot on my old mind here. But anyway, yeah, we're good. We got a lot of a lot of irons in the fire. We just don't want to put the fire out because we've got these insurance claims pending. And now we got a, har a horse, a house started. So, yeah, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye, 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 anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use, be, be damn sure you use the Amazon link now. <laughs> use the Amazon link. Uh, you know, it uh, doesn't cost you a penny. Just click on the link. Go wherever you want. To, I mean, go to Amazon, buy whatever you choose. Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. Help you avoid gout, kidney stones, all that stuff. Basically, keep your health. You know, take deep breaths. Do the simple things. You know what I mean? Stand guard at the door of your mind and enjoy your life. And now you're going to get to see the home building process hopefully all the way through from beginning to end and i have to tell you that you know there's a lot of decisions that have to be made as this thing goes forward 
and uh, I'm up to it. Anyway, guys, adios, bye-bye.